This morning, a suspect accused in the death of Greenville County Sergeant Conley Jumper is expected in court this morning. Let's check in right now at 7 News. Jennifer Martin, she's live in Greenville with the very latest. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, good morning, Sevilla. So two suspects are currently being held here at the Greenville Detention Center, and this is following that crash that was deadly happening on Tuesday. And so uh, we already knew that Tornell Loreno was booked here at the Greenville County Detention Center, but latest Ray Kelly was booked. He has a bond hearing this morning. Now, as we reported, the sheriff says deputies pulled over Kelly, who was driving for a traffic stop on I-85 near White Horse Road. Lorena was a passenger. Investigators say that Kelly got into a scuffle with deputies and at some point accelerated and hit a tractor trailer. That's when another sheriff's office car collided with Kelly's car. Three deputies, Kelly and Lorena, were taken to the hospital. Sergeant Cornell Jumper died from his injuries. Now, according to jail records, Kelly is facing 11 charges, including trafficking meth and cocaine, murder, possession of a weapon during a, a violent crime and resisting arrest with assault or injury. Lorena was booked on an unrelated drug trafficking charge. Now Kelly's bond hearing is scheduled for this morning at 930. Of course, we'll keep you updated about that on air and online at WSPA.com. In Greenville, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much for that. And the upstate continues to mourn Sergeant Jumper. A memorial has been set up on Stone Avenue at the Law Enforcement Center in Greenville. And yesterday, hundreds of members of his law enforcement family escorted his body from Prisma Health to the Thomas McAfee Funeral Home. Across Greenville, flags were lowered to half staff, flowers were laid out, and the gentle giant smile towered over downtown. Sergeant Jumper impacted many lives, including those of school children at Taylor's Elementary. I think represented all things good with the relationship between the school district and our law enforcement. Represented, I think, the soft side, um, showing our kids that strength um, can be kind and compassionate as well. Rhodes says the best way to honor the life of Jumper is to live in his footsteps. Visitation for Sergeant Jumper will be held today from 5 this evening until 8. This is at the Thomas McAfee Funeral Home in Simpsonville. The funeral is set for Friday morning at 9 o'clock at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena.